Hi everyone, I'm Joanne Smith and welcome to Joanne's Corner. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making a zipper pouch. So drag out your sewing machine and your fabric and let's get started. These are the materials that you're going to need for today's project. We have our cutting mat and I have a ruler here. So you'll need that and your rotary cutter. Also, we're gonna need uh, fabric for the liner and fabric for the outside of the zipper pouch. Um, there needs to be two pieces of each and they need to be cut nine and a half inches by six and a half inches, both of them. Also, you'll need um, two pieces of fusible fleece or quilt batting. Um, if you don't have the fusible fleece, just um, use the regular quilt batting and use your basting spray. But this needs to go on the, um, the outer pieces of the zipper pouch and we'll put those on according to the directions here in a minute. This is our little um, zipper tab and it's two inches by one and a half inches and this is out of the lining material. Um, also you'll need a zipper. This is probably longer than what I need but um, we've got a zipper here, 14 inch zipper. Um, you'll need some quick, uh, not quilt clips, but uh, just clips here, or you can use um, pins and your iron and ironing board. Also, you'll need your sewing machine. Okay, the first step that we've done is attach the fusible fleece to the back of our um, outer fabric, to the wrong side of our outer fabric. And if you notice, I have a space here on the back. Uh, these were just two pieces that I had. They weren't exactly the same size as the lining, but if you're cutting your uh, quilt batting or your fusible fleece, be sure to cut it the same size as your fabric, nine and a half inches by six and a half inches. We're gonna take our zipper and we're gonna cut this little middle piece off right here. And just pitch that. And we're gonna take our little two piece, or two inch by one and a half piece and we're gonna fold it in about a quarter of an inch on each end, and you can finger press that or you can bring it to your iron and then fold it again and just press that. And we're going to stick our zipper, the end of our zipper back in that. And if you wanna put a clip on it, you can to hold it in place. And we're gonna take it to our sewing machine and sew a stitch right down through here. Now that we've stitched the bottom of the zipper and the little tab here, we're going to cut off the edges. And I forgot to mention that you will need a pair of scissors, which I'm just using my cutter here to do this. But just whatever's easy for you. I'm gonna get it straight. I'll probably just use my ruler. <laughs> and that's what it should look like. Now we're gonna take a piece of our outer fabric and we're going to lay our other outer fabric and piece of lining over to the side. We're going to put this uh, right side up and we're going to take our zipper and put it right side down. And if you're not familiar with this, um, the zipper pull part is the right side up. So we're going to flip it over and put it right side down. Our little tab over here, we're going to put it in about a quarter of an inch from the edge right here and just line that up at the top and we're going to take our other lining piece and put it face down and we're going to get some of our clips and just clip it in place and then we're going to go to our sewing machine and run a stitch along the top here if you want to use a zipper foot you can um, i just use my regular foot and just try to get as close as i can um, to the edge of the zipper so you just do what you're comfortable with. And we'll be right back. Now after we've run our stitch across through here, we can open it up. Well, I can get a hold of it. <laughs> and we need to just um, press this back. And then we're gonna run a stitch right along through here to just kind of give it a finished look. Now we're gonna take our other outside piece and we're gonna put it right side up and we're gonna take our zipper part and put it right side down. And 
Our zipper is already in about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more, but that's all right. Just line up your sides and line up the top. And then we're gonna take our other lining piece and put it right side down. And just line that up with the top and the sides. And we're gonna clip this like we did the other piece. And then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and run another stitch across through here. Now that I've sewed the stitch across the top, I'm gonna go over to my iron and I'm gonna open it up like this and I'm gonna press this and I'm gonna run a stitch right down through here just like I did on this other side. Also be sure when you press it that you open it up like this and make sure your lining piece is with the top piece on both sides. Now we're going to open our zipper and be sure you open it at least three quarters of the way and you should have the two front pieces and the two lining pieces. So we're gonna put those all together and we need to line up our seams on the top and on the bottom and put a clip or a pin and line it up on the other end. Just nest your seams. Put a clip there, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna clip all the way around through here, and then we're going to leave probably a four inch space over here on this side, and we're gonna leave this open, and we're gonna sew all the way around the bag. It should look something like this when we get it all clipped. So we're gonna leave this open and sew all the way around our bag. Now we've sewn all the way around our bag and left our four inch opening on the left hand side here in our liner. We're going to um, cut our zipper, excess of our zipper, and then we're going to turn our bag. And just be careful with this part um, because sometimes it likes to, to pull your stitches loose if you're not careful. And make sure that you leave that zipper open because you won't be able to turn it um, if you haven't. Be sure to push out those corners with your finger or if you've got a little Pearl marker. You can just stick your hand down in the liner and just poke out those corners. Poke out your edges here at your zipper. And you can open your zipper on up. And the next thing we're gonna do is take our lining and you can press this, uh, the opening here, if you want to, but we're just gonna close up our hole and you can just poke that in there and press it with your fingers or just however you're comfortable with it. Um, maybe put a couple clips on it and take it over and you can do an eighth of an inch stitch um, just to close it up. Okay, I have stitched our bag, the lining. I ran a stitch across through here, about an eighth of an inch. And now we can stick our lining down in our bag. And you can just poke it into the corners. And there's our zipper pouch. If you want to quilt this at the beginning, you can run little stitches down through here, do whatever you want to do. I'll probably do another video on how to, to freehand quilt down through there and stuff, but that's our zipper pouch. I think it's very cute. So if you have enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more like this, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.